What's up, everybody? Uh, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the 19th here of August, Beijing, China. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but what I figured I'd do today, actually, is just kind of give you a little tour of the apartment um, and give you an idea of basically how I've been living the last two months. Um, I've actually got about a month to go now, so it's, uh, it's pretty crazy how the time's been flying, but um, I'm actually sitting at my desk right now. I'm just going to walk around my laptop here. Um, I pretty much spend all my time inside the apartment here. Um, you know, I eat here. You can obviously see the lovely fruit on the top of the uh, desk there. Um, you know, I do work here. I hang out here. We don't have like a, you know, a living room really or like chairs. So this chair serves as my, uh, my chill zone basically um, while I'm here. Uh, that's a guitar. Kenny, um, Kenny, my one roommate from uh, the USA, he actually just left last week. So he uh, went ahead and gave me that guitar, which is awesome. So I've been messing around on that some. Uh, but one of the things you'll notice down here is actually all these four liter jugs of water. Um, and one thing is you can't, you can't drink the tap water here. So you have to go buy water. Um, this is probably about half a week's worth of water. It depends on how often, how much I'm inside, how much I go through, obviously. But um, yeah, you, you know, if you're going to drink water, use water, to, you know, for anything else, you have to boil it or you've got to buy water. So I've, I've gone through at least 40 or 50 of these jugs already. Um, this is my lovely built-ins here, my wonderful assortment of items. Um, this is my window, and as you can see, I don't particularly get good airflow here. Um, yeah, there's, there's no air conditioning. I think this is where the air conditioner used to be. Um, and according to my roommates, the air conditioners were stolen. So, you know, I don't exactly know how that goes down, but that's kind of unfortunate. The company won't buy new air conditioners. They own this apartment. So I, I really don't know what the deals with that. Um, here's my lovely Chinese bed. Uh, this is like a, uh, a hard mat, um, that keeps you cool at night. It's actually really nice since it gets so hot, but you know, the beds here are, you know, I don't know, you could call it a bed. It's pretty, it's pretty hard. Um, yeah, so that's something you got to get used to. Uh, it's not bad, though, but I keep the fan rolling all the time. So, yeah, so I spend a lot of my time in here. Um, upstairs, like I said, Kenny was here. Now it's just me and Roman. Uh, Roman's from Paris, so he's here. He's actually, they offered him a job, too, so he may stay here for a while. Uh, but he would move out of this apartment, so uh, this is in his and uh, was Kenny's room. But you know, basically sleeps in there. He chills out here um, in the main room a lot, right over here. Um, this is where Kenny was. But here's kind of a little look outside this sweet little balcony here. Today's a really nice day, so you can see the blue sky, which is pretty pretty cool actually. Um, that usually doesn't happen. But um, these are actually a lot of my clothes. I just got done washing clothes, so there is no dryer. So you got to find a place, either hang them up on a line or just hang them up wherever. Um, here's the uh, here's the bathroom, and I'll let you get a good look at this. It's a little bit different than uh, a little bit different than than back home. Um, everything's in one. So you know, actually, even your dryer. There you go. Uh, here's the shower, you know, luxurious shower, washing machine here. Uh, you actually have to load, uh, manually put the water in the washing machine, uh, which is a little bit different. Uh, this window is actually a lot bigger than the one I have in my room and it, the air flows in a lot, uh, a lot faster from this side because of the microclimate in this apartment complex. So, you know, the bathroom is usually a lot cooler than my room. Um, so. The shower, um, we get hot water intermittently usually, depends on the day. Usually it's cold, which is actually nice. I'd rather take a cold shower. Um, so actually, we have a porch out here. and We don't go out here very much, and I'll show you why. I probably won't have to explain that very much. Um, I thought about attempting to clean this, but then I thought again about that. Uh, what, I, what I think is that it just hasn't been used. There's some really bad dust storms here uh, last year, and that occasionally happens coming in from uh, basically from the west. There's, there's huge kind of barren areas. They're planting tons of trees trying to um, kind of 
mitigate that, but to get these dust storms, so what I think is the windows were left open, and then this is probably just a good three years of not cleaning anything. Uh, so that's, you know, that's kind of nice. Uh, but here's kind of the view at the top there. You can't see a whole lot. So yeah, so we just opened this to get air, let air inside. But yeah, you can see I've kind of got my clothes drying. But um, yeah, there's not really any furniture. Uh, this stool actually right here was the stool I sat on for the first two months. Um, it's, you know, it's not that big. Uh, it was interesting. So, take you downstairs. Some of the guys are hanging out down here. Um, but there's five Chinese dudes that live down here. So, give you a look. Here's our friend. Um, here's the uh, couch. More clothes. Here's another view of the balcony. Uh, two of the, uh, actually three of them, two guys live in this room back here, another dude lives back there, um, TV, we get 13 channels, all in Chinese, and the picture is crushed, so you can see like half the screen, which is pretty sweet. Here's our massive refrigerator, um, I can basically only fit a day's worth of food in there, so I'll generally go to the supermarket every two days, cook. And that gets me through about a day, um, and then I go back. Um, we have this, you know, we have a refrigerator here, but that, that doesn't work. There's another bathroom right here. Um, two more guys living there. Here's the, uh, here's the kitchen. Um, and I'm actually getting ready to cook right now, so this is basically the food I've been living off of. Um, pretty clean diet, to say the least. Since I don't really know what anything is in the, in the uh, grocery store, it makes it pretty easy to eat clean, so... I've been eating basically, uh, you know, six to seven chicken breasts, 30 eggs, uh, rice and vegetables every two days. Um, and that's pretty much it. So just to give you a little idea, this actually, um, when I got here, if you can see the color of the back corner of this, that's pretty much um, what the whole counter looked like. So that wasn't particularly appealing. Uh, the guys told me that they had just stopped using the uh, kitchen, so that would explain that. But I cleaned it, um, and it's it's cool now. Uh, everything's everything works fine. It's not a big deal. Um, here's the microwave, another non-functional refrigerator. And then I'm gonna dangerously hold my laptop out the window here, and you can get a kind of an idea of the view I've got when I'm sitting here cooking my meals. Um, again, here's you can actually see pretty far today. I don't know if you can see the mountains in the background, but it's pretty cool once you when you can actually see out. Um, Pretty nice, actually, for that change of pace. Um, but anyways, it gives you a little idea of what's going on here. Uh, yeah, this is the door. It's kind of outside. And we're on the sixth floor, so we get to uh, have a lot of fun uh, basically hiking up the stairs every day. Um, so the penthouse. If you want to call it that. Um, but right now that we got, since Kenny left, we have um, about seven, I think there's seven of us living here. So uh, the two interns upstairs and then uh, the five guys that actually work for the company are downstairs. So there it is. That's the grand tour. Um, it's pretty interesting. I don't really know if I have another, a better word to describe it. Um, you know, one of the things I, I realize is you get, you know, you get used to not having certain things after about a week or two weeks. And um, it's kind of interesting. It's not, it's not about here, being here for me hasn't been about, you know, not having certain things. It's been about the experience and the experience is just insane. Um, you know, every day I see something I've never seen before. Um, and, and, you know, I'm doing what I like to do at work. I'm doing what I like to do at night at the gym. So... You know, it's just been great. Um, one of the interesting things, again, interesting, I really don't know how else to describe it, um, is that I was talking to the guys last night, and they were telling me that this apartment, uh, the full retail cost at this apartment, is over a million dollars U.S. So a million, two hundred thousand dollars, what they told me, um, which is ridiculous. Um, basically, they're saying most of the families who live um, in these apartments could sell their apartment 
if they outright owned it and then go buy a house in LA. And you know, they're they're right to an extent about that. And the housing prices, you know, are, are jacked way up and, and they stay there. Uh, you know, so it's it's kinda rough because these guys don't you know, it's tough to make a pretty decent salary when you're when you're kinda younger in the, in your upper twenties or low, lower thirties. Um, which is just kind of how it works. So a lot of the guys that work in Turnscape, you know, they, they have to room uh, or find roommates because it's, it's really difficult to, you know, pay uh, the expenses of, of the actual real estate. Um, now, living costs, you know, of everything else, food and everything else is, is a lot cheaper. You know, the subway, to ride the subway one direction, a one-way ticket is, I think, two RMB. So, you know, that's 20 cents. Um, you know, there's certain things that are extremely cheap. I can go get a head, a 45 minute head massage, like some ridiculous head massage for, um, three, 350 us. So, so, you know, there's, there's certain, there's, there are certain things that are very cheap, but housing is not one of them. So I, I was talking to him like, so you're telling me that this apartment is worth a million dollars and we don't have an air conditioner. We don't have air conditioning. And <laughs> they start laughing, but. It is pretty funny. Um, I, you know, it's it's crazy. I, I had no idea about that, and so, you know, when they told me that, it's a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty curious thing. I'd say I was going to say interesting again, but I'll I'll hold off on that. So, anyways, um, hope everyone's doing well. School's about to start back up. It's weird that I won't be heading back to school in the fall, um, but you know, I'll be back in a in a like I said, a little over a month. I'll be back hanging around. So. Um, I'm looking forward to that, definitely, um, but enjoying every, every day here. So uh, from Beijing, um, everyone have a, uh, a good start to school. Everyone have a good fall, and um, I'll talk to you guys later.